Hello, what about you? I'm Andy, and I like to build stuff from anything I can find, really. So if that's on your fancy, uh, stick around. So this is another challenge build. Um, Silver Scratch built has put out the challenge to build a large mech. So I'm gonna try and build something at least a wee bit bigger than what I'd normally build. So yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> Alrighty, so I've got all my bits laid out here. Um, I was going to use this bleach bottle just as a start, it's about the biggest bottle that I have and then I was going to bulk it up a wee bit on the base here just with this uh, tic tac container so uh, that's, that's sort of going to be the start for my body and uh, I'll just use my Stanley knife just to, just to cut the top off here and luckily enough there's a, there's a ridge to follow so that should be, that should be easy enough and then I'll uh, tap that off with some plastic card and that'll close off the, the hole on the top and it should make it a wee bit sturdier because the plastic is quite quite flimsy and then I've got my good old plastic spoons and um, I love using those for arms and legs so I'll just uh, take the tops off those, uh, something like this and then I've got some of this construction kit here as well this plastic construction kit so it should make a good good leg segment <laughs> And then uh, these uh, deodorant spray lids, or like uh, spray can lids sort of thing, I'm going to use those for feet. And then I've got some uh, bits of Lego here, and this should do for bulking out the legs a wee bit more. And it'll give these plastic spoons a wee bit of strength. So yeah, that's, a, that's the plan. And I might as well just show you one that I, oh, show you one that I made earlier. And uh, I made this on the stream. I was just messing about with different leg ideas, and this is what I came up with. Um, I'll not be using these, but I'll just be keeping them in mind when I'm when I'm building these new ones. So yeah, something like that. So I'll just clear this away here and get started. Uh, first things first, uh, get this uh, bottle decapitated. And like I said, it's handy enough when you've got that uh, line to follow. Um, I'll probably have a wee bit of cleaning up to do, yeah, just a wee bit, but nothing too serious. And like I said, I'll just uh, stick this piece of plastic card on top here. And it's quite thick, so it, it, it should give it, give it good structure, sort of thing. And then use my Tic Tac lid, con or container lid here, just on the base, and just to bulk up, and sort of his hips kind of thing. And there's a few wee markings there. I'll just have to use my, my sandpaper just to, just to sand those off. And then there's a Tic Tac logo here as well. I think I'll have to cover that up with something. So that's the bulk of the body put together. Um, shaping up nicely. I'm going to leave this wee, uh, wee door on here. That'll do us a nice wee feature. But uh, yeah, coming together nicely. It's uh, Again, it's, a, it's larger than what I'm used to building anyway. And uh, just to give you an idea of the way the legs are going to fit on here. I'll use these, uh, these legs that I made earlier and uh, they'll just fit on something like that and you can see he's going to be quite tall yeah, the legs that I make will probably be slightly longer than these ones so he, he is going to be a tall boy alright so I've got the legs started here and this is like one segment sort of thing I've used that piece of Lego in the centre there uh, just to bulk that out and like I said it does it really well strengthen up those plastic spoon handles and then I've cut a few wee bits of plastic card that I can't quite pick up right now because it's so small but I just used a, a sharp tool just to poke a couple of rivets in those before I stuck them on. And uh, yep, and that fits nicely onto the that piece of construction kit. And it uh, should make a nice knee joint there. I'll just pin that together with some uh, some cotton bud stick. And then the ankle part there will go on the bottom. Something like that. Still need to get that drilled out though. But uh, yeah, coming together nicely. And the, as for the Tic Tac logo here on the bottom, I've cut a wee bit of plastic card. And it'll just fit on the bottom, something like that. I just tried my best to match the, the shape of the logo. And then again, use my pokey tool just to poke a few, a few rivets in it there. Alrighty, so I've got most of my leg pieces constructed here. And this one's pretty much complete pinned together. And this one's all drilled out, ready to go. Just need to get it pinned. And then on the body here, um, just to carry the legs, I've uh, put like a pin in, 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 in his hip here. <laughs> just, to, just to carry the legs, something like this. Yeah, and it'll just make it a wee bit easier to pose later on. 
And uh, what I'm trying to I'm trying to make him stand up on his own. I really want him to stand up on his own. So uh, yeah, it, it's pretty much just a drawing pin or a, or a push pin. And I took my snippers and just snipped off the the top edge of it here. Something like that. And uh, yeah, just to give it like a sturdy pin. And uh, it gives it a wee bit more extra detail just instead of using a piece of wire. And then what it'll probably do is take a, a, like a flat bead and, and stick it on as well. Uh, just to set the legs off from the, from the body a wee bit. Something like this. So yeah, it's just pretty much a flat bead. Just uh, drilled it out a wee bit more. The hole was a wee bit small. So I'll get this other bead stuck on. And then I'll see about starting the feet. So I've got one done here, and I'm happy enough for now. I think I'll still need to bulk it out a wee bit more, but uh, it shouldn't be too bad. I think it's pretty interesting already. And uh, it's basically just my spray spray nozzle off the deodorant tin, and I just stuck it to the to that uh, blue piece of construction part there. And so I took the nozzle first and just took this wee spray part off it because I'm not using that part. And then I flattened the back out with my knife here. The part itself was quite thin, so just to give it a bit more surface area, I, I stuck on a small piece of plastic card, and that should help it help it stick to the other part. Something like that. Ooh, check out my shiny new mat. Oh, nice one, nice one. Anyway, let's see what have we got here. <laughs> so body, pretty much good to go. I think it's ready to put the legs on. I've got the legs pretty much complete here. I've got uh, both my feet built, and I've got these uh, these pieces of they're melted um, Lego parts. I cut the studs off some cheap Lego, and then just sort of heated it up with my blowtorch until it was just soft enough to melt. Uh, some of them melted a wee bit too much. I wouldn't recommend it to be honest, it was a bit stinky, but uh, I thought it was worth a try. This was again, I was experimenting on stream again, so uh, I'm thinking they're going to make a detail somewhere along the line. But uh, yeah, all in all, the legs are quite sturdy, I think I'll need to bulk, bulk up the back a wee bit. So I'll just get into my bits box here and see what I can find. And I, I kind of knew I had something like this in here. I think it's going to just clip in very nicely. I think these are actually off clips. It's like the spring off a plastic clip. So I, I remember I had these in here. And then there's these other bits too. That's more bits off like a deodorant tin or a spray bottle. That could make like a nice ankle or like a back toe or something. So I'll, I'll put those to one side for now and just get a couple more pieces here. So I'll get a wee look at these uh, spray bottle parts. I'll see how they're going to work out. Uh, possibly could work for like a back toe, but I don't think it's going to be as sturdy as these pieces. No, these pieces are going to be way better. Sort of give it a nice wide stance at the back there. And uh, yep, they clip on nicely and they're adjustable kind of thing. So uh, yeah, I I'll go with those. And uh, like I said, it, it always kind of works out with, with stuff like this. It, it, it's so strange when you, you always have parts in mind. And uh, I really wasn't sure in the beginning what I was going to do with, with these feet. But uh, yeah, just seems to work out in the end. So yeah, that's gonna look good. Something like that there, just sort of give you an idea of what it'll look like on the bat. And then I can uh, bulk the, the feet out a wee bit more uh, later on down the line, but this should be enough to get them standing. And so what I'll do is go ahead and just uh, get one, one knee stuck. I'll sort of get it clamped up here kind of thing and use the body to kind of get it into a rough position that I think it's gonna stand. But yeah, I'll go for the glue one leg at a time method so uh, yeah like I said use the clamp and then just sort of roughly get that foot underneath the center of gravity or maybe just slightly slightly in front and then once it's in position I'll hit it with plenty of that bacon powder uh, just to make sure it's a good strong bond I'll probably even go back with some more glue and just uh, let that glue run between the seams sort of thing and really because this is going to be holding all the weight so uh, yeah and then moving on to the feet, I know they're going to need to be flat on the ground. He's not going to have a big mad step or a big stride. So uh, I can just glue those uh, flat sort of the same way. Just get them glued up and plenty of baking powder. And make sure they're nice and strong. Something like that. 
And then once the feet are nice and dry, I'll move on and see if I'd get them standing. So at this point both the feet are glued and one knee joint's glued, but I've still got the ankles loose and uh, so that, that'll still give me a wee bit of movement. So it's just a wee bit of fiddling really. Uh, make sure plenty of glue and all the joints that I want to stick and uh, get them sort of, sort of th those feet under the center of gravity, like I say, maybe staggered ever so slightly. But uh, one of my knees, like you see there, is still loose, so I still have a wee bit of adjustment in that. And like I say, the adjustment in the ankles. So at this point, it, it's nothing quite set in stone. But it's feeling pretty good. I think he, he's going to stand. He's going to stand on his own, I hope, anyway. Fingers crossed. So yeah, just wait for that to dry kind of thing before I move on. And uh, then get the clamps back out and get the other knee clamped up. And into position, like I say, that I that I think's gonna work and then I can just get the the last final joints glued up sort of thing the the ankles oh but first always remember first scratch these joints with my Stanley knife and just give that glue plenty of grip and, uh, and yeah hope that it's all gonna stand and there might be an easier way to get uh, bills like this to stand up on their own and if you know certainly let me know in the comments I'd love to hear it but uh, this has kind of worked for me in the past, and uh, so I'm going to stick with it. And what do you know, he's standing on his own. And uh, you can see there I've added a couple of the bits of those uh, melted Lego just on the on the top of the of the legs there, just for a wee bit more detail. So now that all the, the joints are dry, I'll go ahead and snip, snip some of these pins back and uh, clean it up a wee bit and start getting some pistons on. This is always like a, a favourite bit of mine. And I've got some of these click sticks. Uh, it's just like a construction kit from the from the pound shop, and they're going to make some nice pistons here on the on the back of his on the back of his ankles probably. Yeah, we call these ankle pistons. So uh, they're going to go nicely in there, and they'll get some more uh, on the front side of his legs as well. Uh, it just kind of makes sense to to put them there. And again, what I do is it, to sort of get an idea where to put these. I just look at. Uh, construction machinery, you know what I mean, diggers and and, and, uh, and excavators and stuff like that. And uh, luckily enough the spray bottle parts fit inside each other so this is just some uh, spray bottle tubes cut up into small sections and then push those onto one of my cotton bud sticks and just kind of built them up like that, it makes a really nice piston detail. So yep, that's the inside of spray bottle parts and then some more spray bottle parts uh, just for the side here, just to bulk them up a wee bit more. I'm going to stick them on there, something like that. And uh, these are going to make real good sort of carriages for the for the bigger guns to go on. Uh, this guy's going to have some big guns. So uh, that's, that's going to work there. And for the guns, I'm going to use these uh, bottles. And then some more spray bottle parts. <laughs> and this is going to stick together, something like that. And go on there like that. And that should work out well. So, uh, yeah, and then I've still got all these uh, bits of spoons left, so uh, what I'm going to do is cut them up, um, I've did this in the past, I think this is pretty cool, cut them up something like this, and then uh, sort of slightly melt the edges with my lighter or over a candle, and to me it gives them a real cool sort of metal plate look. Uh, you can burn them too much and they distort way too much, but if you're very careful and just kind of burn them ever so slightly, so uh, I think a couple of them is going to work pretty good here for toes. I'll maybe layer them up a wee bit, but uh, yeah, it'll work well. And then maybe some shin pads, something like this, or maybe some on the back here. And, uh, yeah, I think they're going to work really well, especially when you layer them up. Uh, you know. And then my wee sp the spray bottle parts, this was sorry, a, a deodorant tin part. And uh, it's going to make a pretty good hip gun, I think. So I'm going to put one either side on his hips, and uh, just to give him even more guns. So I've uh, got a few, the, few of the guns attached and I've got my, my bigger guns made up, ready to go on. And uh, I think the hip guns are working really well. They might pose a bit of a problem when it comes to painting, but sure, uh, future Andy can worry about that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've got the tools on and uh, the, the bigger guns, they'll stick nicely on the side here. I think something like that. I'm going to sort of put more of the weight towards the back just so he doesn't fall over. And uh, yeah, that, that's about him for now. I think uh, this build's taking me a wee bit longer than I thought it would, so I'm going to stop this one here and then continue it in a part two. 
So uh, yeah, keep an eye out for that if you're interested. But I think he's looking good. I've, I've stuck a few more panels on the back here. Still a few more to go. And I want some railings and some ladders and stuff on him and a, and a few more cool details just to kind of sell the scale. And um, yeah, so for now, back to me in the craft room. So, there you have it. Still loads more to do in part two. So until then, thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful. Uh, big thanks to all my Patreon supporters. I really couldn't continue to make videos without their support, so I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you. And any questions or comments, you just know where to go there, down below, work away. And remember, there are no stupid questions here. So, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!